Hello and welcome back to BNB TV. I'm David Driscoll. Today we are doing a very special exercise routine that's all about strengthening your energy. Strengthening your energy means that you can have more physical vitality and you can also deal with things more easily emotionally and mentally. Helps you focus, feel relaxed and grounded. So it's really a great thing to take care of. Let's get started. You're going to need a comfortable spot to do some rolling back. Soft mat or a carpet is ideal. A bed is usually too soft and a hard floor is going to hurt your back, so don't do that. Rolling back up and down to the spine. If it's tough, you can just lie on your back and hug your knees, rock side to side. If you're feeling good, you can stretch out the legs a little further and get a good hamstring stretch along with feeling more aligned in your shoulders and hips. So I highly recommend this if you want to increase flexibility in a relatively easy way. So let's do a little rolling back. Any of these exercises, you can pause the video and take more time. When you finish that, lie down, hug those knees, rock side to side, massaging the kidneys, lower back. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Feels good. This is a great way to relax after a long day. Start to recharge. All right, how about a hip stretch? Pull one knee in, stretch the other leg out to the floor, feel the hip, and then naturally bring it across your body, opposite hand grabbing the knee. Open up that arm away from the leg. Look towards the outstretched arm. Try to keep that shoulder touching the ground, even if your knee can't get all the way to the ground. More important to keep that shoulder down. Slowly switch it up. Hug the opposite knee, feel your hip, Keep relaxing your back and shoulders. And when you're ready, twist across, open up the opposite arm, look that way, and breathe and relax. This is another good one to repeat two or three times on each side until you feel your spine is looser, your breathing is deeper. Yeah, this feels really good. All right, when you finish that one, bring it back. Go ahead and bend both knees, hands on your lower abdomen, bounce your hips, hip bouncing exercise. It's actually the sacrum, the back of the pelvis that's bouncing up and down. This is good for releasing tension that gets caught up there at the base of the spine near the pelvis. It can be a tough area to relax, so hip bouncing can be really helpful. Breathe comfortably while you're doing it. Don't go crazy, take it easy. And when you finish, stop and notice the vibration and the feeling of buzzing or warmth, whatever you feel inside. Moving on, another vibration exercise is back bouncing. This is a great way to build up your energy and release tension along the spine. It's a little bit tricky, so you gotta keep your butt on the ground, elbows down helps, your head is pressing down, and you're bouncing your spine. So it's kind of like a back massage. Don't forget to breathe. Moving right along into knee bouncing, so you can see the legs are stretched out. Bounce the back of the legs. This stimulates the bladder meridian and kidney meridian. So good for your circulation. And we're really moving. So the next one is toe tapping. Heels together, shaking the legs in and out. Kind of tap the toes together, as it says. And try to touch the outside of your feet to the floor. So this is going to work your hips and the inner thighs. You're going to feel it in those muscles. This happens to be a great exercise if you have trouble relaxing and falling asleep. Try this at night. Now again, stop the video. Take more time with any of those exercises. They're all really good and the more you do them, the more energy you will start to accumulate. And the more stress you will release. So take your time. All right, we're moving right along. Now that you've woken up the sensation in the body, let's do some breathing. So bend the elbows, make sure your elbows touch the floor, your shoulders relaxed, place your hands on the chest. You're going to focus on breathing into the chest. Now if you know about abdominal breathing, you might want to jump ahead and do some deep abdominal breathing, but it's really important to make sure your chest is relaxed and you're breathing comfortably before you try to do those deeper breathing techniques. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. You can see the abdomen going up and down, but don't forget to let the chest move. Feel the chest stretch. And relax. 
Focus your mind on the chest. Your hands are there because that helps your mind focus. Wherever the hands go, our mind tends to focus pretty well. So you can move the hands down to the upper abdomen or third chakra area, stomach and liver area. Feel the way this area moves when you breathe. And gently rises and falls. Now, you might not normally focus on this area, but as you breathe, you can feel if tension has accumulated here, you can start to relax your stomach area more than before. And this can help us feel much more comfortable, less stressed out, less worried, less emotional, just because this area of the body holds a lot of tension when we're upset. So it's worth taking some time to breathe and focus on your stomach. All right, now move the hands down just below your belly button, lower abdomen. If you know about body and brain yoga, you know we call this the danjan, the physical energy center of the body. This is where we want to gather and accumulate a lot of energy. And how do we do that? By physically feeling and waking up this part of the body, but also by mentally focusing there because that's where the energy is going to go, is where we focus. So take your time. I've said it before, you can stop the video, spend a couple more minutes just breathing. You don't have to rush ahead. I'm going to move on to an accumulation, an energy strengthening posture where you lift your feet up and bend your knees a little bit above 90 degrees. So the feet are slightly higher than the knees. Flex your ankles gently. Try to tuck your tailbone, keep that lower back pressed into the ground and breathe comfortably. Now, if this is difficult, you can do one leg at a time. That's fine. But if you're able to maintain, try to relax the rest of your body and just use your core. Just tuck that tailbone, keep that spine pressed down, focus on your kidney area, and breathe slowly and deeply. Feel the pressure in the abdomen from holding the legs up and from breathing. If you start to notice a lot of warmth or a little vibration in the muscles near the legs and back, that's a good sign. That means that the body is opening up and releasing tension. I recommend this posture from five up to 20 minutes a day in order to accumulate energy. So work your way up, practice to increase your strength and energy and focus power. Next one, stretch out the back of your legs. If you can, grab your toes. Try to straighten the knees. With this posture, we're opening up the meridians, those bladder and kidney meridians again, through the back of the legs, along the spine. So if you can't grab your toes, that's okay. I recommend either go against a wall, straighten the legs up, or throw a belt or an old t-shirt around your feet. Hold on to that and straighten out the legs that way if you can't quite reach. Don't forget to breathe. Now, if you're up for it, you can go all the way into the plow posture, your feet going all the way over your head to the floor if possible. Don't overdo this one. You shouldn't feel pinching on your neck. You shouldn't feel your breathing is constricted or restricted too much. Breathe comfortably. It's going up into the upper back, really opening up that energy meridian. This is going to really help us as we try to relax and accumulate more energy strength. Those three postures are good to repeat a couple times if you have more time to practice. Now I'm coming back to the L posture where your tailbone and sacrum are planted and your legs are straight up like an L, you're flexing the ankles. You'll notice that this might work some different muscles, different parts of the joint. Breathe comfortably. If you need to, you can go back into that stretching posture where you grab the feet or the back of the legs and try to relax, focus inside, bring your mind inside. This is a really powerful way to accumulate your energy. All right, feels good. Put the feet down, relax, and watch your breathing. Of course, we were using our muscles. Now everything relaxes and the breathing naturally gets deeper. I've said it many times, but breathing is a big part of how we get energy. So now you've deepened the breath, Enjoy it. Focus on it. Don't rush to do something else. You may feel more warmth under your hands. You may feel that breath naturally deeper. When you're ready, try crossing the legs. 
This is good for accumulating more energy rather than just letting it all go. Sometimes we say if the legs are stretched out, that energy flows out, it releases. So it might leave you feeling a little less recharged. If this is tough for the hips, just keep your knees bent with the feet on the mat. That's fine too. Great job. You can pause and just stay here for five or 10 minutes and relax and breathe. Now that you've done a little work, you're in a great condition to accumulate energy. I'm gonna move along and turn over to stretch the opposite side with a little upward dog or cobra stretch. Now don't overdo it. You can always rest on your elbows instead of straightening the arms. Feel the muscles, feel the left side, right side. Breathe, feel the way that your body stretches more when you inhale and relaxes a little more when you exhale. Enjoy it. And then how about a little downward dog just to give a good stretch to those hips, hamstrings, calf muscles, feet, up into the shoulders. Nothing crazy, nothing too intense. You can add some variations if you know them. Bring it down, activate that core, little plank into upward dog or cobra. And again, don't overdo it. You can rest on the elbows too. I like to add a little twist just to check that both sides are feeling stretched out, the energy's flowing. Feel the breath coming all the way down into the core. Always leave a little space to relax and breathe. You don't wanna work out too hard if you're focusing on the energy part. You want that 20 to 30% of extra effort that you're not using so that you can feel relaxed and breathe deeper. Little child's pose. Stretch out the back and then come on back and have a seat comfortably. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the meditation. And if you've practiced this little routine, then your mind and body are in a good condition to do deep energy capsule training. Energy capsule training is a great energy meditation for your mind and body. You can see now I'm doing a little brainwave vibration, a little body movement. Check out the next video and let's keep practicing to make that energy capsule. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for joining. I hope this helps you. I hope you take care of your energy every day and we will see you next time.